Agriculture was the foundation of ancient Egyptian civilizations for thousands of years. Farmers in Egypt make up a significant portion of the country's labor force, but they are fighting an uphill battle against limited resources, as well as climate change. Most of Egypt's food is grown in the Nile Delta and the valley, but this is being threatened by water scarcity, water and soil salinity caused by sea level rise, and heat waves. These forces are altering the agricultural system and affecting farmers' livelihoods. To face these challenges, farmers must shift to systems that can cope with the changing climate, including growing crops that are more resilient and employing climate-resilient farming practices that support the sustainability of land, soil, and water resources. Climate change causes floods, droughts, and wildfires, putting even more strain on the country's limited resources. The Nile River supplies over 80% of Egypt's water needs. Even with groundwater and other non-conventional water resources, each Egyptian receives less than 600 cubic meters of water per year. For irrigation, there is a great difference between relying on rainwater and supplemental irrigation. For example, last year we waited a lot for the rain, but it fell heavily only once. This was a common sight in the Matru Governorate's rain-fed agricultural regions. However, when winter arrived, and the dams were filled. The farmers no longer saw this desolate landscape. Many people in Matru believe that collecting rainwater is a good way to deal with climate change and protect the area's agricultural productivity. Nonetheless, people worry about the future of farming and raising livestock. We produce an organic product. We produce olives, olive oil, figs and grapes. The meat of the barky goats that we are raising is unmatched in the world. Many farmers are combating climate change by planting droughts and heat-resistant crops, while others have seen benefits from using salt-free groundwater, particularly for aquaculture, demonstrating the need to conserve water in such harsh conditions. According to experts, the water used for fish farming is rich in micro and macro elements that are beneficial to plants. Egypt is heavily reliant on sugarcane, but farmers in Upper Egypt are contending with water scarcity and the need to increase production in a sustainable manner. In recent years, farmers have had to change how they plant and when they plant in order to adapt to the effects of climate change on sugarcane crops. Egypt's Agricultural Research Center has been successful in introducing planting sugarcane using seedlings. A new agriculture practice that saves 50% of irrigation water and 40% of fertilizer. Planting seedlings reduces the quantity of seeds, aids in irrigation water management, limits farm workers, and reduces the amount of fertilizer required. To ensure there is enough water to meet farmers' needs, the state is lining canals in agricultural areas, prevents 5 billion cubic meters of water from leaking out of the system. The Barrel Backer project in northwest Egypt is the largest of its kind in the world. Its goal is to treat 2 billion cubic meters of raw drainage water per year, producing enough water to irrigate for 115,000 acres. Given Egypt's problems with water and food security, the private sector has offered to help reduce the effects of climate change. In the Nile Delta, investors and farmers are under pressure to find new solutions to adapt to the dwindling annual per capita water supply and mitigate the greenhouse effect, along with soil pollution. Hydroponics saves 90% of irrigation water Climate change threatens food production. According to some estimates, 
if effective adaptation is not implemented. Global yields could fall by up to 30% by 2050. Egyptian farmers are finding it increasingly difficult to earn a sufficient income due to the high cost of production and agricultural inputs, including rising fuel costs. To assist farmers to adapt to this situation, the government has provided them with low interest loans to switch from flood irrigation to drip irrigation or other modern water saving systems. Examples of using solar energy in irrigation as a sustainable practice were found in several places, including the oasis of the New Valley. Solar power was initially expensive, but it now saves us a significant amount of money. The Benban Mega Solar Energy Station in Aswan is an example of reducing carbon dioxide emissions and assists Egypt in meeting its goal of obtaining 40% of its electricity from clean sources by 2035. Egypt's farmers burn 35 million tons of agricultural waste annually, releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. However, some farmers have found that agricultural waste can be an additional source of income by turning waste into organic fertilizer. This transformed waste not only provides access to previously untapped income opportunities, but also helps advance the shift to a circular economy. We shredded the sugarcane waste and turned it into animal feed, and we were pleasantly surprised that it tasted good to the animals. Animals bring the cycle of eating and being eaten to a close. Reviving Egypt's National Veal Project benefits rural communities in several ways, including reduced imports, job creation, and limiting the use of chemical fertilizers. I chose to invest in the Veal Project in order to save for my daughter's wedding, as it helps me cover my living expenses. In Egypt, Farming activity produces about 50 million tons of animal manure annually. This contributes greatly to methane gas emissions. Farmers use only 17% of this as non-processed organic fertilizer. Nonetheless, biogas technology helps turn farm and animal waste into biogas and biogas fertilizer, which are both high-value products. Biogas fertilizer improves soil health and cuts down on chemical fertilizer use, as well as greenhouse gas emissions. Along with floods, droughts and fires, an increase in pests is another anticipated impact of climate change. New insects have been introduced into Egyptian agriculture, which will almost certainly result in increased pesticide use, a further source of concern for the environment. As a natural way to fight climate change and make farming more sustainable, wasps will be used to reduce the use of pesticides and improve the health of the soil. We try to reduce chemical pesticides as much as possible and use biocides instead. There are many new pests that have appeared, such as worms and aphids. We can thank this wasp for its beneficial role in reducing pesticide use and preventing fruit damage without compromising the health of people or the environment. Women have played an important role in agriculture in Egypt since the dawn of civilization. They hold the key to the future of agricultural systems, food and livelihoods. Women in the agricultural labor force harvest the wheat, carry out post-harvest activities and raise cattle in the field. Women often find themselves more vulnerable, more dependent on natural resources and have a heavier work burden, with traditional responsibilities on the farm and in the household. Gender transformation is critical for climate action in Egypt's agricultural sectors, which employ over 45% of the country's female labor force. By implementing several technologies to reduce food losses at the field level, women working in agricultural sectors can contribute to mitigation actions in Egypt. In Luxor, for example, sun-dried vegetable projects aim to increase crop value 
and create sustainable communities, as well as contribute to climate change mitigation. These projects invest in women's agricultural roles by hiring only women and creating 200 seasonal jobs. As for the source of income we receive from this work, many women are relying on it to meet their daily basic needs. Egypt faces increased social and economic risks and challenges as a result of climate change, which is expected to increase droughts and floods, extreme events, desertification, population growth, and natural resource scarcity. Egypt's government is committed to taking climate change action by scaling up climate smart strategies and strengthening the resilience of livelihoods. We have the chance to meet the urgent needs of agriculture and food security in the face of climate change.